Hi, welcome back to Virtual Venture Vacation. Today, I'm going to share with you on another commentary technique that is Zoom. Zoom actually is divided into two parts, whereby it is zoom in and zoom out. So I'm going to share with you on zooming in first. So for the uh, zooming in, one very uh, important part is that you have to know what are the topics that you need to speak on, no matter whether it's zoom in or zoom out. You need to know, very important, all the topics. Yeah. So once you know the topics, and of course, uh, meaning to say that you have information on the topics, then of course, you can carry on with your commentary. Now, over here, I'm providing you one good example. That is our national monument, right? So this is a zoom-in method. The zoom-in method is you have to do some imagination that is as if that you have arrived at this place. And then, of course, you slowly walk inside. So walk inside meaning to say you are zooming in. So just like in the National Monument, uh, it's basically divided into three parts. The first part is actually cenotaph. The second part is the pavilion, right? So these are the two main topics. And again, on the third part, that is the uh, monument, right? So basically, uh, monument is actually divided into three parts. And uh, within the three parts, these are the topics that you can speak on. Firstly, imagine that you have just arrived and outside of this national monument, you will see lots of hibiscus. Then, of course, you can speak on hibiscus. And then as you walk in, then you will see Malaysia national emblem is at the uh, sides, both sides, left and right of the uh, main entrance, right? And then when you walk further in, you will see the cenotaph. Then after the cenotaph, you climb up the staircase, you will reach the pavilion, right? And then, of course, after the pavilion, you will see the bronze monument. And at the bronze monument, you will also see Malaysia flag, which you can speak on. That is the Jalu Gemilang, right? So this is one good example whereby when you are zooming in one by one, and once you reach deep inside, of course, yeah, yeah you can speak on, like just now I mentioned National Monument, the Bronze Monument, each and every of the soldier represents what? Right, so basically, it is uh, very clear. You can speak for fifteen minutes at least on each of the topics being given when all total up. Right, so for zooming in, it is very suitable, especially for very big places. For example, our national monument, the KL Gallery, and any exhibition and also any shopping malls. So by using zooming in, uh, another element which is required, <coughs> that, is, that is the uh, imagination. So over here, with the imagination, you will be able to speak very clearly. Okay. <laughs> All right, then we come to another part that is zoom out. Usually, zoom out is very suitable for, let's say it is a tower or basically a very big building. Now, for example, over here on the left, that is the uh, Balai Nubat Tower, which is located in Alostar Kedah. And another one example is the um, Sultan Ibrahim, the building which is located in Johor Bahru, right? So for the sake of a commentary, I'm giving you example of this very famous building in Telo Intan, the Leaning Tower of Malaysia, all right? So 
of course, you need to provide as much as uh, information as possible for this uh, leaning tower, right? So let's say you have uh, speak on as much as possible and then you can't carry on. What else can you carry on? There's one local shop right opposite of this leaning tower. They're selling a lot of uh, local products. Like for example, the fragrant biscuits, the coffee, etc. So you can speak on the local products. And then, of course, another perhaps uh, 500 meter away, you will see the Chi Chong Fan. So the Chi Chong Fan of Telu Intan is very different with the ones in Penang and also with the ones in Kuala Lumpur. So during your commentary, of course, you can basically explain what are the differences between Telu Intan, Chichong Fan, Penang, and also Kuala Lumpur, right? And then, of course, because all these are found in uh, Telu Intan, so what you need to do is that you will slightly zoom out going further away. So further out, not far away from the Leaning Tower, there is this little village by the name of Kampongko, which is very famous for its chili. So perhaps you can give some information on Kampongko with the chili and also, of course, with the seafood there. All right. And then there's another very famous tourist spot found nearby that is in Sichawan. That is the Tua Pekong Temple, right? So basically, once uh, you have finished off, you can go further up some more. That is the Kelly's Castle, yeah, which you can speak on. So all these are basically, you can say that all are found within the states of Para. You can slowly zoom out, right? So it's another very important point to take note over here is that please take note, yeah, that when you are zooming out the technique, you have to speak within that particular state. Never go too far, all right? So you speak on the, within the states, all the tourist spots within the state of Para is definitely okay. But never, never go too far at places like Penang, Slangor, etc. This is definitely a wrong way all right so the right method is actually speaking on those which are found within one region that is very very acceptable and uh very important please take note just like my previous uh previous commentary technique that is link always always speak at least five to ten minutes on that particular very specific topic then only slowly you zoom out of that places, all right? So over here, I really hope you have uh, learned something again, right? If you have any inquiries, remember, always write to me. You can always WhatsApp me, yeah? And uh, please remember, like this video because you have learned something out of it. And uh, remember to subscribe please do share with your friends and also of course once you have uh, uh, subscribed you'll be notified on my new posting so over here again thank you very much bye